Uh, today is June 12th, 2017. It is 6 o'clock. We are calling to order the Board of Selectmen meeting. We are live and also being recorded for broadcast. If we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States, States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. So we have on our agenda for 6 o'clock an executive session. Do I have a motion? Motion. I move the board selectmen vote to approve. No, no, that's what I want. Motion, yeah. <laughs> that, that's board selectmen go it. into executive session under number two of the open meeting law. And two, to conduct stra uh, strategy session in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining session or contract negotiation for non-union personnel, a.k.a. the fire chief. Further, the, the chair declares the board will return to open session for the purpose of taking an action on any matters pertaining to the contract for the fire chief. Do I have a second? Second. Um, we need to do roll call first, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Can I do a roll call, Roland? Aye. Lisa? Aye. Melissa? Aye. And then, we're good. That's it. That's right. It's I just the roll with, call. It's just the roll vote. call. Throws me off every time. All right, so I will call our meeting to order back in an executive session. All right, so thank you everybody. This is a continuation of our June 12th meeting. We are live and recording for a future broadcast, coming back into our meeting from an executive session. Do I have a motion relative to our executive session? Yes, I move that we um, put forth a contract offer to, to Toby Tyler, it's a fire chief, um, that would total compensation package would be $90,000 for the first year and it would go to $100,000 in year two and that he would respond back with his acceptance or non-acceptance of that by noontime on June 20th and if he does not accept it then I also move that we direct our town administrator to reach out to the other candidate to see if they are open to accepting the offer, the same exact offer um, that we presented to, to Chief Tyler. And if he also declines, that you then start a new search committee, form a new search committee to, to fill the position. Um, just before I ask for a second, just to clarify, the um, ninety thousand and the hundred thousand is that a total compensation? In total package? compensation of ninety thousand year one, one hundred thousand year two. Do I have a second? Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any opposed. Okay. So two to one. All right. So moving back to our agenda, we have acceptance of our minutes from May 15th. Do I have a motion? I make a motion that we accept the minutes. Yes, written. A uh, second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, meetings are accepted. That Is that regular and executive session? Yes. Yes. We didn't clarify, but yes. <laughs> Both sets of minutes. Um, so that puts us to public communications. I know we have warrants there in the other room. Um, Lisa, can you read the first one? Affordable housing commit, uh, let me see, hold on. Yes, I think that's the first one. Okay. <laughs> Town of Pepper Board of Selectmen, June 8, 2017, press release. The Board of Selectmen wishes to announce the following vacancies. Affordable Housing Committee at Large Representative, Cable TV Advisory Committee 2 positions, Economic Development and Advisory Committee member, Fence Viewer, Finance Committee 1 member, IST Committee 2 members, Planning Board Associate member, Zoning Board of Appeals Associate member. Letter of Application and or Citizen Activity Form should be submitted to the Board of Selectmen. Do you want, I know you have one here, you want to read that one and I'll do that July 4th one. Okay, um, I just want to announce that the next Veterans Breakfast will be on July 8th and the sponsors of the Veterans Breakfast will be 1A Auto and CNS Pizza. 
the Pepperell Fourth of July committee. They have a, a notice out. Hello, Pepperell Fourth of July friends. In the midst of the snowy weather, oh, I don't even want to say that word for a number <laughs> of months yet. The Pepperell Fourth of July committee, or P4JC, is busy planning for summer fun and fireworks. This year, our small town Big Bang celebration is on Saturday, July 1st. The fun starts with a parade through the town center, followed by fun on the field, ending with spectacular fireworks, as we have done for the past 25 years. To raise the funds for this extravaganza, enthusiastic volunteers planned many events throughout the year, and many more are still scheduled. We are also reaching out to area businesses for financial support to make our 25th year our best ever. Would you consider joining us in supporting our festivities this year? The overall cost of bringing the 4th of July festi festivities to Pepperell is 32000 if you are able to be very generous, consider supporting the P4JC as a platinum, gold, silver, or bronze sponsor. If your budget is lighter, red, white, and blue sponsorships are also available. We are also offering stars and stripes sponsorships to give everyone a chance to contribute to the small town Big Bang tradition. The committee appreciates any support you can provide to the success of the Pepperell 4th of July celebration and will proudly note your support in press and social media avenues. Thank you for continuing the tradition for Small Town Big Bang and Pepperell this July 1st. So the um, funds can go to, uh, so Lori Massiello and Derek Tenbrock are the corporate fundraisers. And you can send a check made payable to the Pepperell 4th of July Committee or P4JC, abbreviated PO Box 533 Pepperell Mass 01463. And the platinum is $3,000, gold is $2,000, silver is $1,000, bronze is $500, red is $100, white is $75, blue is $50, stars is $25, and stripes is $10. And if you are interested in 2018 sponsorships, they would like to know as well. Um, Lisa, can you do the next one? Sure. Um, music, ice cream, summer band concert series. Music, ice cream, community support and fun. Get ready for the 2017 PBA summer band concert series and ice cream socials. The Pepperell Business Association <coughs> continues to offer the annual summer band concert series and ice cream socials with a great 2017 lineup of music. The Pepperell Music Center is the hub for the local talent and owner Alan St. Croix arranges all of the music talent. We are grateful to Main Street Bank who has been the premier sponsor of this event since it's be it began 15 years ago. We appreciate the continued support from the Hazel Brooks Trust Fund Committee and Lynn and Richard Potts, also long-term sponsors of the event. We like we thank the, the many local businesses that will sponsor the program this year. The weekly free offering of ice cream, always a favorite with residents, is possible due to generous donations from Doc Davis Ice Cream and Charlotte's Rail Trail Ice Cream. Many thanks <coughs> to them for supporting this annual event. At each concert, a community partner serves free ice cream. Any local nonprofit group is eligible to become a community partner. Come by and learn about some of the great volunteer-based efforts that are taking place in and around Pepperell, including GWAT, Veteran Statue, Pepperell Garden Club, Gateways, NM Cares, which is confronting the dangers of prescription drug abuse, Patch, and the PTO Playground Fundraising Committee. Join us on Tuesday evenings at the Town Field. This summer schedule is July 11th, Flare the Band, Soft Rock. July 18th is Rubber Soul, Beatles Cover Band. July 25th is Rock City, which is a rock band. August 1st is Russell Hill ba Band, which is folk rock. August 8th is Michigan Frog, which is classic rock. August 15th, the Shoba Valley Concert, which is modern. Rain date policy, if Tuesday brings rain, we will reschedule the concert on the following day. If Wednesday is also rainy, then the next week's concert will be altogether. Then that week's concert will be altogether canceled. Visit the PBA Facebook page for scheduled updates. Come and join us. See you at the bandstand. Rome, you do the Pepperell Palooza. Announcing the Pepperell Palooza, Saturday, June 17th. I'm at the Pepperell Town Field in the Casebo. What is it? Pepperell Palooza is a music festival for Pepperell and the surrounding communities. It is an afternoon of family friendly musical entertainment designed to show off the best of Pepro. Who's playing? The full lineup is still being finalized, but our headliners are Rebecca, I'm gonna mess this up, Lobi of The Voice. Low. 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 So the You are clearly not a voice watcher. No, I'm not at I'm all. I'm not either, so I would have done the same thing. Low, okay. <laughs> I would have never got that. Okay. Rebecca Lowe of The Voice and Roy Zimmerman, a hilarious singer, songwriter, and comedian. 
We're actively seeking out two to three other acts to open for Rebecca and Roy and hope to confirm soon. I think they've got additional acts already. Um, what else is happening? We are inviting local businesses and food trucks to sell food and merchandises at the event. We are also inviting local charities and nonprofits to hold the table to inform the public about their organization. Who's coming? Last year, committee members hosted a house show for Rebecca Lowe and had over 100 attendees with no marketing, budget, venue, or opening bands. This year, we hope to drive significantly more attendees from Pepperell and surrounding communities. How are we making the event, or how are we, excuse me, marketing the event? Pepperellpalooza.com has all the details of the event and the links to each artist's website. The website will continue to evolve as the remaining lineup is confirmed and businesses sign up. We also have a Facebook page, and we will be publicizing via our social media networks and paid Facebook ads. We will be posting in all of the local Facebook groups and asking all of our friends, neighbors, kids, teachers, coaches, etc., to spread the word far and wide. We will be printing out posters to post in grocery stores, post offices, and elsewhere, anywhere else we can. Uh, we are reaching out to local newspapers to provide advanced coverage of the event and invite them to attend the event and interview the musicians. Okay, I'm in. How can I participate? Sponsorships, we're looking for sponsors this, for the event to help fund the cost of the band, similar to Tuesday night band concerts. Sponsorships cost $100 each, and sponsors will get to promote their business via pepperpalooza.com and hold an informational table at the event itself. Uh, in the weeks leading up to the event, which is this week is the last week, we will be we will do a post on the Pepperpalooza Facebook page to promote and thank each sponsor. During the festival, the MC will also thank each sponsor as they introduce artists. Are you a local restaurant? Great. We're actively searching for food and family-friendly beverages vendors for the event. Do you sell cool stuff? Awesome. Pepple Palooza will be a great way to introduce your shop to new customers. Reach out to Amanda Nichols if you would like to participate at Amanda, A-M-A-N-D-A, -A -A at 28 feet. That's T-W-E-N-T-Y, the number eight, feet.com. Or you can call her at 857-540-03, excuse me, 0535. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> or go to the website, pepperellpalooza.com. Do we have any public communications from the audience? All right. Okay. I think we're good. Town Administrator's report. Uh, thank you, Melissa. So tonight's theme is one of celebration for some of the graduates I see uh, here tonight uh, to salute our academic scholars from North Middlesex Regional High School. Uh, and I talked with Superintendent Landers at length about this and also with uh, Denise Pigeon, uh, Superintendent. I see Al Buckley from the board of Neshoba Valley uh, <coughs> Tech uh, is here tonight. Uh, so a celebration of uh, first academic success and um, also uh, a celebration of uh, grantsmanship, I'd like to say, on behalf of our town departments. So um, the uh, s salute includes, uh, we'd like to offer our very best wishes uh, to uh, Ms. Rachel Reckon, right here? Yeah. And uh, hold on, uh, North Middlesex High School valedictorian, valedictorian. Uh, and Gavin Donahoe, who could not be here tonight. He's at a, uh, he's at a, uh, a uh, in, uh, session, uh, I believe, looking at, at a college. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we have uh, Mr. Bryson Tang, which the board met at the uh, uh, Shoba Valley uh, breakfast, that they, which they hold every year, and also is the son of uh, Mike Tang, who's on the board uh, at the Neshoba Valley Tech, and uh, Bryson is here. And uh, his uh, a very close colleague, uh, Bryson is the school valedictorian at Neshoba Valley Tech, and Callie Bridges, who I have not met, Callie is here. <laughs> Riding in the back. Uh, they, they just ran, I'll okay. say this, tell me if I'm saying this the right way, they ran neck and neck, record to record since really, uh, Denise is here, I'm sorry, I apologize, I my, my glasses on, Denise is here, and uh, neck and neck academically and uh, so really working very closely in the community on a number of different projects and uh, we're very proud uh, to recognize and salute their academic scholarship and 
I don't know if, uh, I'm sure if you want to, uh, uh, Superintendent uh, Pigeon is here, and I know Al Buckley is here, maybe they can uh, bring bring up each I other. I would like that. Come yeah. on up. Yeah. So do we want to... Um, do the resolutions? Yeah. Do, the yeah. Resolutions. yeah. Um, do we want to have Neshoba come up first? Yeah, it doesn't matter, yeah. Come on up. <laughs> Either way. Since well, the superintendent is here. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the chairman of the board, Al Buckley, is here. <laughs> I'll give you one on the piece of paper. We've got Sam, too. <laughs> <laughs> we can we read, read, read in the record. Yep. Can you read it first? Resolution, whereas Callie Bridges has achieved the second highest grade as class sal yeah, salatorian. Salat what? Salatorian. Salatorian. Yeah, salatorian. Yeah. Sal <laughs> what she said. <laughs> and she has realized high academic excellence at Neshoba Valley Technical High School and graduated on Saturday, June 3rd, 2017. And whereas Kelly Bridges is a bright, articulate, motivated, and passionate student that is extremely gifted while excelling with a perfect 4-0 grade point average in dental so assistant program. <laughs> whereas Kelly Bridges has attained the Dean's List and has been honored by attaining her associate degree from Middlesex Community College. Wow. Mm -hmm. And whereas Kelly Bridges has excelled as a dedicated leader as a multi-session athlete where she has been a captain on both the cross country and basketball teams. And whereas Kelly Bridges is a distinguished academic and athletic leader that will continue her education next year at Salem State University where she will extend her academic tenure as a member of the junior class. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Purple Board of Selectmen hereby send its sincere congratulations to Callie Bridges on her achievements at Neshoba Valley Technical High School given by our hands and sealed in the 20. 20th day of the well, month, the 12th day, excuse me, of the month of June. <laughs> so we haven't, yeah. In the year beautiful. of our Lord, 2017. Beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just rest. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say a word? I've known Kelly since the third grade, and you've come a long way. You're awesome. You've you've just achieved so much. I couldn't be prouder of you. <laughs> That's awesome. You graduate from high school and an associate at the awesome. same exact yeah. time. That's an well, talk about leapfrogging everybody else. <laughs> Whereas Bryson Tang has attained the highest grades and he has achieved academic excellence at Neshoba Valley Technical High School and thus graduated as school valedictorian on Saturday, June 3rd, 2017. And whereas Bryson Tang has prospered intellectually as a student in, engin in the engineering technology program at Neshoba Valley Technical High School, coupled with reaching the highest level of student leadership as president of the senior class. And whereas Bryson Tang has excelled as a dedicated student enrolled in advanced placement courses in calculus, computer science, literature, and physics, achieving high honors throughout his four-year tenure. And whereas, whereas Bryson Tang has accepted to Worcester Polytech Institute and has been mm. awarded that institution's prestigious honor as a presidential scholarship winner. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> That's wow. awesome. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Purple Board of Selectmen Hereby send its sincere congratulations to Bryson Tang on his achievements at Neshoba Valley Technical High School, given by our hands and sealed this 12th day of the month of June in the year of two, our Lord 2017. Denise, good job. They're your students. <laughs> That's right. I know we've turned out quite a few in both schools. <laughs> so, Denise, you want to say something or? Uh, I would just like to share. I know you've read quite a bit about these two outstanding students. 
Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to know both of them on a, on a personal level, um, you know, as well as, as students, as students at our school. Um, I had the opportunity to take Callie with me down to the Cape, and she presented at the MASC conference, the Mass Association of wow. School Committees conference on the dual enrollment program and, and her success there. And as was mentioned earlier um, this evening, Bryson also participated in presenting with the town administrators breakfast that was held in February. Um, he's also served as a student representative for our school committee. Just two fantastic students that managed to find time to give back to their own community and school system, even with all of the um, different activities and projects that they are working on. They're just the, the halls of Neshoba Tech are, are not the same about them. So. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job. Well, Anything it's, you want to add? It's, it's great that we've had young men and young women that it would take full advantage in the show of tech what we have to offer and they've excelled in everything they've done in their life. And I know they will continue to do so and someday they'll replace me and maybe <laughs> Denise <laughs> and retire. But it's great that we were able to do that. And I know North Middlesex is doing the same thing. We've got two more students coming from there. Done, excelled also. So that means we've had four students from the town of Pepper this year that have excelled to the top. That's wonderful. Very impressive. Very impressive. Good job. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll get these to you in, with jackets. We'll get, put them on and get to mail them to you. Okay. Okay. So do we want to? Um, we'll pretty them up a little more. Rachel, do you want to come up? Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gavin couldn't yeah, be Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That one I can figure out. That's not record. It's record. Yeah. Record. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. record. Whereas Rachel Record has attained the highest grade and she has achieved academic excellence at North Middlesex Regional High School and thus graduated as the school valedictorian on Saturday, June 2nd, 2017. And whereas Rachel Record has flourished on an academic and intellectual basis and has served as president of the National Honor Society and whereas Rachel Record has excelled as a dedicated student and she was awarded excellence in mathematics, chemistry, English, creative writing, and world studies. And whereas Rachel Record has attended the highest, attained the highest athletic standards as an all-star in Central Mass field hockey, and whereas Rachel Record has exhibited skillful talent as a four-year coordinator of the North Middlesex Regional High School Giving Tree, and as a illustration, is that right? Illu what's that? Illustrious. Illustrious, not illustrations. Illustrious. Too many big words for me. <laughs> illustrious. You keep me around for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> keep the word for all these big words. President of the Student Council. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Pepper Board of Selectmen hereby send its sincere congratulations to Rachel Record on her achievements at North Middlesex High School, given by our hand and sealed this 12th day of the month of June in the year of our Lord, 2017. Awesome. I did, Melissa. I did talk to Joan Landers, and uh, they're, they're just so very, very proud of Rachel and all the work she's done and all the different fields. Yeah, that's awesome. amazing. She did a wonderful speech at the graduation. My son graduated at the same time. Yes. Your youngest awesome. is graduated now? Yeah. Holy smokes. She smoke. did the, the, the commencement speech. Yeah. It was awesome. Awesome. And Trevor made the best senior schedule ever. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he spent, it was like an hour long, and it was incredible. So I just, uh, Trevor did awesome. Well, I'm like, this is Trevor 
So since Thanks. Gavin's not here, do we know where Gavin's going in the fall? Gavin will also be attending the University of Massachusetts. Oh, okay. But he will be studying engineering on our campus. Excellent. Good. Yes. Beautiful. Is that an informational session? Okay. No, that's great. <laughs> but he had some representation here. That's good too. All right. Uh, second. He's coming to the next meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. We invited him to the meeting on the 17th of July, Excellent. and he can make it. So. Okay. So we'll read his resolution there. Awesome. Yeah. There good. you go. Are you so good? We'll have it all done. Thank you. Good. Second item, I just want to report to the board that uh, the, that the state has notified the town of Pepperell that we received an award of twenty thousand dollars under the Commonwealth Community uh, uh, Compact Program, uh, and that's going to be applied to a master space plan uh, for the town. Um, that's, that's in addition to twenty-five thousand dollars of district local technical assistance monies from the Northern Middlesex Council of Governments, uh, so a total of forty-five thousand dollars. Um, and as that move, moves forward, I'll keep the board uh, updated. I've asked uh, town planner uh, Stephen Parker to uh, coordinate uh, the uh, overall master space plan uh, for the town. And uh, also, we were uh, several days later, we received a award notice of $15,000, a little less than we expected, uh, for IT storage program that uh, fabulous uh, IT director Martin Kadick is working on to coordinate with me. And uh, so that, that was a very fruitful, pr fruitful process as uh, Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito came out uh, a, a month or so ago uh, to uh, make the award of the community compact and, and moving, up, moving along. Uh, item number three, uh, Pepper did secure $57,298 in federal uh, emergency management funding through assistance uh, for firefighters. Uh, and this award notice was dated May 25th. Uh, once again, keeping with the same theme of uh, local grants writing and grantsmanship, it will require a local match of $2,864. Uh, the grant uh, fund uh, will fund the following items, uh, 27 pages for our firefighters, two chest compression systems. Did uh, you say pages or pagers? I'm pa pagers. Pagers. Just making sure. Pagers. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And, then, um, and then two IV pumps, uh, which is, are included in the attachment. Uh, I, I also wanted to note that in Region One, uh, a million five, just a little over a million five hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars were granted uh, of uh, uh, funds for the program, and uh, Pepper was uh, did pretty well in this regard. I want a, a special thank you to June Black and uh, Russell uh, Pandres from Congressman Nikki Songus's office, and also to uh, Chief Toby Tyler for his work on this important program and grant funding. Uh, the third item, uh, like this goes back a little bit of time. It's like uh, deja vu all over again with that Ann Gagnon here. Uh, Pepper did receive an award, uh, as we had planned, of $70,000. He made a placard just for you. This oh, is a, this is <laughs> the Amazing. Pa Paula helped help get this all together. Check. Uh, this grant program, if you hark it back. I'm going to bring up and hand it to us here. To the, <laughs> I will give it to him. To, to the, uh, through the Massachusetts Department of Fish and Game, uh, the sale of two parcels totaling 36.8 acres uh, on the Nisitissa and Nashua Rivers, Rivers, which is the land behind the Senior Center. Uh, we'll uh, put this land in uh, full conservation protection for many, many, many years, forever, something like that, Ann? We hope. Okay. <laughs> That's the plan. That, there you go. I also want to thank, uh, once again, uh, Paula Tarazi did a great job uh, w shepherding this through and really working the system very hard. Uh, and also a, pep a Pepperell Council on Aging. They got involved, the Friends of the Pepperell uh, uh, Senior Center, uh, which once again will put this treasured and precious resource of the town uh, in, 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 pr in protection for, forever. So I'd like to ask uh, Ann to come up and um, we can present, you can present the check to the Board of Selectmen. Hit the check we'll give it to you so you can give it to us. There yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Why don't we get a picture so we can, we can send it to the news media. And, yeah, and when you get in the middle, Paula, come right up. Yeah. And, uh, hey Steve, you got a camera with you? I got a camera. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
you want us to come yeah, in the front? Yeah, just come around on the front side. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She got bangs. I had a tick. He was like, you did? <laughs> I did. I was like, go get rid of it now. <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. I thought that's what you said. I did. Yes. She just said a tick. She was just so good. I don't have it on me anymore. I just want to say, Anne's been known to hold a number of strategy sessions at Mariano's, so she's giving a local economic development boost as well. That's right. Hey! Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Denise. Appreciate it. The last two items, just real quick. Uh, Pepper was awarded $13,981 from the Greater Lowell Community Foundation and the Community Foundation of North Central Massachusetts on behalf of the Neshoba Valley Healthcare Fund. Uh, this award was made on May 24th. Seems to be that time of the year, once again, <laughs> stick, sticking with the theme of grantsmanship and grant writing. Uh, the $13,981 uh, will be for two Lucas chest compression systems. Uh, and once again, this is an, in a joint effort with the Greater Lowell Community Foundation uh, that, that uh, helped us acquire six, the, the uh, funding for $6,576 and the uh, Community Foundation of North Central Massachusetts for a total of $7,405. Uh, once again, uh, the totals the thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty one dollars that was made through the Neshoba Valley Healthcare Fund. Uh, this is a uh, important piece of equipment, and uh, once again, I want to thank Chief Tyler and his and his team, uh, Ben Simmons. Hats off to Ben and to Chief Tyler for their hard work on this noteworthy grant, and and pr and program will take some pressure off of our local capital uh, budget. So. That's what one hundred and thirty one thousand dollars in grants. Yes. That's nice. that time of the year. Nicely done. Thank you. Plus the uh, two two fundings for the uh, banning and uh, open space. Right? That's right. Yep. That's right. So you close two hundred thousand dollars. So the the board and and Mark should be uh, commended for your efforts in this regard. Thank you. So it looks like um, next on our agenda, unless Mark, unless you have anything else. No, just the last piece. I yep. just want to say uh, it was a pleasure to attend the Greater Lowell Community Foundation annual meeting. <clears throat> Uh, just to harken back just for a minute, it wasn't a huge grant, but they seed, seeded money to NM, NM Cares, and the group that started up in Pepperell and has branched out and worked very hard uh, to, uh, the, to fight opioid and heroin addiction. Uh, it was the precursor for some other grants that Chief Scott had worked on, the yep. COIN program and others. Yep. Uh, so I just want to say I was proud to attend their annual meeting uh, as one of uh, the town administrators and town managers that, that would be attending and uh, they were glad to have us participate. And I think that's part of the relationship building that we've tried to conduct in town going forward. I want to thank the board for this support and assistance. Awesome. Um, so I think the next thing we have on are the appointments. So, um, <laughs> There's a lot of them. There are, so we probably this should- only a little more than half of them. Yeah. Next this is only one yeah. half? Well, maybe three quarters. So, um, trying to think of the easiest way to do it. Um, that can be fast. These? Do you want, <laughs> you want, you want to read Go all of them? But just the, 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 the committees. It's committees, because we're right. reappointing the existing members. Right, these are all reappointments. There are no new appointments on here. So, do you want me to read all of them? So, maybe do it by committee and in, in, uh, term expiration date. Some of them, um, some of the uh, expiration dates are a little bit different. We'll take the first page, I'll take uh, yeah, the second maybe. page. We'll, we can and, we'll, and I'll take the third, we'll just kind of go from there. Because this, there's a lot of them. Please act on the following reappointments, all with terms to expire June 30th, 2018, unless otherwise indicated. Affordable Housing Committee, Brian J. Keating, at large member. There's one vacancy on the Affordable Housing Committee. The Finance Committee must designate a representative to the Affordable Housing Committee. Agricultural Advisory Board, Kimberly Hapgood White, term to expire June 30th, 2020. Board of Public Works, Paul Brinkman, term to expire June 30th, 2019. Cable TV Advisory Committee, Brian Dunnigan, Deb Spratt, 
There are two vacancies on this committee, Capital Program Committee, Dea Tixon, Dixon, Mullane, sorry, Michael Kingsbury. Uh, the Finance Committee must designate a representative to the Capital Program Committee. Constables, Patricia Krushung, Frank Petrocci, terms to expire June 30, 2020. Crank Up Committee, Christine Thompson, Joshua Thompson, terms to expire June 30, 2019. There is one vacancy on the Crank Up Committee. EDAC Committee, Chip Babino, John Mazziello, Chuck Wakovich. There is one vacancy on the Economic Development Advisory Committee. Emergency Planning Committee, Mark Andrews, Kayleen <coughs> Jenner, Marjorie LaFleur, Susan McCarthy, David Steers, David Kurze, David Scott, Peter Shattuck, Toby Tyler, George Ux. All right, you're up. Finance on Committee, Sean Mc McGinty, term to expire June 30th, 2019. There is one vacancy on the Finance Committee. Forest Warden, Peter Shattuck, uh, Historic Commission, Ronald Carr, Corey Minichino, term to expire June 30th, 2020. IST Committee, David Pease, Douglas Sawyer, and Robert Sweeney. And there are two vacancies on the IST Committee. Labor Council, Sharon Siegel, Merrick O'Connell. Um, Local Licensing Authority, Todd W. Blaine, William Greathead, Alan Lassier. Uh, Thomas Mazakalenko, Nick Parker and David Scott, Moth Superintendent Peter Shattuck, North Middlesex Council of Governments. Uh, can I hold you? Oh, we're gonna, okay, we're going to change that we're one. Getting, we're getting a legal opinion on that. Okay. Research that I'm doing, so we just hold that. Then on which one? The uh, Northern, Northern Middlesex, Middlesex Council? Skip over North Middlesex right. Council of Governments. Uh, parking Clerk um, Elaine Lundstrom, uh, Pepperell Auxiliary Police Department. See attached list. Do you want us to read the list or just reference I don't, the You don't have to read all the names. Oh, the attached list of all those people on that. Okay, where was I now? Radio okay. Amateur. Radio uh, amateur. Yeah. Town Council, right? No, oh, no, no, no. Radio no. Amateur. Racist. Yeah, there is. Radio Amateur Civilian Emergency Services. James Berger, an ACS operator. James Hine, an ACS operator. Linda Polerski, an CS op operator Stanley Zersky, ERU slash ACS officer, and James Wilbur, an ACS operator. Registrar Sharon Tatro, term to expire 6 30, 2020. Sexual harassment grievance officer Mark Andrews, Pol Pepper Police Department, see attached list. Town Council Edward J. Richardson. Uh, Town Forest Committee, Joseph Radwich and Peter Shattuck, trustees of the Brooks Education and Entertainment Fund, Chet Bavino, term to expire 6-30-2020, selectments represented to the LRTA, appointed by chair, that's going to be Susan McCarthy, personnel board, Penny Evans, term to expire 6-30-2019, chairman shall designate a selectments represented to the personnel board and the finance committee must designate a representative. Do we not already have the designated representative for the personnel board? You do uh, a new one every year. You do? Yes. Okay, so then we need to do Go on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Position of employment representative to the personnel board is vacant, and I am preparing a list. Well, I'm not. Somebody's Mark preparing. is. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Mark Peggy is preparing a list of the remaining appointments to be made at the next meeting, as well as the list of new appointments. Oh, so all these other ones That's fell into it. the list. Uh, you locked I out. I did. I just noticed you that. You locked out all those reserve officers. <laughs> it was on the, it was C attached <laughs> list. Okay. So. Okay. C attached right. list. Take care of that. Out really well. Which was, no complaints. Yeah, there's six pages of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think that's it for appointments, unless there's something we missed. Um, so the next up is the science and safety update. Uh, you get a motion to approve. Oh, yes, we do. Sorry, we need to approve. So do I have a motion to approve I, the I um, move we approve. So presented positions as listed in our agenda. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. The list again. Any opposed? <laughs> All right, it's unanimous. Do you, who, do you want to pick who you want to be the personnel board rep? I think I already am. I, think I okay. was last year. Okay. You want to I, stay? I don't mind staying. I did, it, I did it on the finance committee, too, so. Just a footnote on the Northern uh, Middlesex Council of Governments. We're, get, we're just getting clarification on whether it need, we need an elected official, which I, which I believe we do, appointed to the to the council. But um, 
I, I will be recommending and writing a letter on behalf of Stephen Thamel as if we don't need an elected. If we don't need one, okay. uh, or as an alternate to, okay. to, 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 to just given his background and understanding of the agency. Got it. Yep. All right. Um, signs and safety update. Are we gonna yeah. So I, I I would recommend postponing this only because uh, it's a fairly involved plan, and I know uh, Ken couldn't be here tonight, and I talked with Peter. Uh, and also Stephen Parker and uh, uh, Roland needed to, to get to get a full briefing on it. So I would suggest we put it on for the 17th. Okay. Okay. So that's moved to July 17th. Okay. So, see you later. See you later. Sneaking out. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. <laughs> you started out by yourself. You ended up by yourself. Look at that. I, I could, something you about me clearing. I did. <laughs> it just took a little longer this time. Jeez. So, so okay. outside of the science and safety, there's only other one other thing um, that would fall under uh, old new business is the July Fourth that's coming up. Sure. Um, so oh, just yeah. to to I did that was on my two list to make sure we didn't uh, leave without you. chatting about Good that. Um, oh, Chuck, is Chuck, that your phone? Don't forget your phone. <laughs> You'd be calling it in a couple of minutes. We'd pick it up. Right? No. I don't need the phone. You <laughs> should have thrown it out. See you guys. Okay. Okay. Bye. Um, so uh, the two things relative to 4th of July is obviously the parade, the vehicle and transport, um, as well as our candy throwing strategy. So um, in the past years, uh, each selectman has kicked in $100 and the chair, at least the last couple of years, Stephen was responsible as chair for buying all the candy at some uh, uh, wholesale, wholesale warehouse type venture. Um, I'm happy to do that again if everybody wants to do the same thing. And then um, in terms of transportation, we've done different things. I offered my truck. Um, I think uh, Mark was gonna also reach out to Merle, maybe uh, see if he'd let us borrow one of his, his fun, you know, cars without a roof. Um, in terms, yes. <laughs> That's better that way. Um, and just, you know, in terms of the, the process. So I guess I'm open to any other new ideas and such in terms of what we're doing for the 4th of July. What's on the 1st? It's a Saturday. It right? is. It's yes. Saturday, the yes. The July 4th parade. Yeah. Not on the July 4th. It's on day. the 1st, right. That's right. That is correct. I mean, I have no problem walking, but if we do walk it rather than ride in something, we're going to need to get something to, you know, the drag hall, the, the hall of candy. wagon. Yeah, wagon. We need several. <laughs> yeah. We, we, buckets. Yeah. Last year we had, I don't know, six buckets. Well, no, I think we had like 12, 12, 12 buckets. buckets of yeah, candy. and we're talking like the big Home Depot, mm -hmm. tall type buckets. So we yeah. may need someone driving the truck with 12 <laughs> buckets of candy in the back. <laughs> But I'm also, yeah, I have no problem with riding either, but so really it depends on what we can, how we can do the logistics of the candy <laughs> hauling um, is, the, is, the, is the key piece. And I think the goal is to avoid um, things with sticks, <laughs> so, although they help with the throwing radius. Um, that harder right. end yeah. wax little kids in the head cut bumped last year. <laughs> So this is your fourth, first Fourth of July parade as a segment. What would you, what do you envision? Well, I didn't realize there was that much candy to be carried. So oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's I quite a bit. I would say probably yeah. a Merle mobile would be nice. <laughs> a what mobile? Merle mobile. Oh, Merle He's mobile. got a lot of nice ones. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Nice ones he does. I don't know. Would we all fit in there with all the candy and everything? We would if we're strategic. Uh, if during the buying process, strategic in terms of size, like those lollipops took up. A, a lot, lot of space. A lot of space. Because the sticks take up so much. Yes. We'll just start the diet today and we can all yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. exactly. I had candy, but it didn't make it to the end. That's right. <laughs> and now we're all on a sugar high. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I know the last couple of years we've, we've uh, run out towards that last leg, so um, we may have to get a little extra to get over that last <laughs> leg. But, um, but we've always done Yeah, one well. year one of the selectmen ran into Donnellan's to grab candy. Did they really? Oh, that's funny. Funny. A few times. That's a few right. Jumped up, jumped out and ran in. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the plane over there. We have to get more no, candy to reload. and caught back up. I'm impressed they were even open, actually. <laughs> the parade. <laughs> no. 
Well, it's, it's the other thing is you can strategically yeah, place true. along the route. That's right. Replenishment stations. Yeah, we could. <laughs> so you only have to have so many buckets with you, and then, okay, we'll come to the next one. Swap them out. That's not a bad piece. idea. We actually, if we could, um, my office is just about halfway. If we could keep my son from eating the candy, <laughs> um, we could have it in <laughs> in a vehicle there waiting And what for time us. does it stop? I should know this. I think it's 12. We I, must think start, we, yeah. I think we start to corral like around 11-ish because yeah. the staging is much right. longer than the Memorial Day parade. But yeah, I think it starts around noon. It's pretty and quick. It starts here? Yep. Yes. It reverse. Hall yes. And, yeah. and ends the other way. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sure Merle would let us use the car. I can't see why. I can reach out to Merle. Yeah. Right. He's not even here. I know we're, we're, we're commandeering his car. He's not even here. Well, we could ask Sean Parsons for Clark's auto body to use his RV. <sighs> A long RV. There we you go. throw stuff out the windows and windows? have a nice little living room in there. Toss it out the windows. Ooh, and there's our potty in there too. There it is. Stole the vision. Stuck at the top of my road all the time. It's very enticing. There we go. We um, can start the barbecue alley. Yeah. <laughs> Cook up some hot dogs, hot dogs and stove. burgers. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God, That'll that's work. too much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so probably Merle. Okay. Okay. And uh, I will offer my truck as backup if uh, if Merle doesn't work out. It's white. You get the whole red, white, and blue theme. So. Got it. I'll reach out to him. Awesome. All right. Anything Good. else on Good. July fourth? <laughs> Melissa, you're gonna go Two get weeks. the candy. You yes, said. I will get the candy. Yep. It's only a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. I, I have to go back to Costco for something else. So I can, can pick that box. Search. That's right. Okay. Yes. And actually if you guys just wanna um, bring a check to the town meeting, I'll buy it, probably buy it this weekend. Then we'll okay. be all set. So that'll work. Okay. We can do awesome. that. Awesome. Good. Cool. Yay. That was one thing on my agenda. You know, the priorities and all. <laughs> Parades. <laughs> 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 And you might forget if we didn't bring it up tonight. I do like the boat the boat theme I liked. <sighs> yeah, he didn't want to bring it. My dad has a pontoon boat. I was trying to get him to bring it up and then just drag it as a trailer and put streamers and, and stuff. And we'd on. be sitting in the pontoon boat throwing it out. It'd be awesome. But yeah, he he wasn't having a nice ribbon. Like, like, streamers theme. running, you know, could be a nautical yeah, theme. Right? See? Yeah, see? Right, because then you could put water. streamers and stuff on there. Like it would be much easier to decorate at that point. Do you have any ideas, Peggy? Can you think of anything? I like the pontoon boat. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be different. It's kind it of would fun. be. And there's there was there's even a little it's shade families. canopy. So if it's really sunny, you can sit in the shade canopy. You know, it's not so bad. Yeah. Some kids on it. Yeah. We look like Lake Wannabeers, though. It's okay. yeah. <laughs> it would be a great way to you transport launch. all that candy. <laughs> <laughs> One room for the candy, that's for sure. That is for sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I know. One of these days, we need to get like a real float. Because there's some of the floats we'll that go by. There's street. some serious detailed effort that goes into yeah. the stuff that they do. We get, we'll get Nobody it. cares. They just want the candy. I know. That's it. That's <laughs> what my son says. That's what he gets so disappointed at Memorial Day because there's no candy. I'm like, buddy, it's a different kind of parade. It's yeah, different reason. <laughs> different reason. <laughs> but it's a parade. There should be candy. I've been thinking. <laughs> all right. Okay. Do we have anything else? I'm all set. All right. Sure. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yay. Aye. All right. Not bad. 805.